Hey everybody, welcome to Three Skill Models. I am Jason, your host, and I do models and electronics and taking a look at things. So today we are looking at a drone here. Um, we are going to take this apart possibly and take a look at it. I'm uh, still on my vacation or as they say holiday. Um, I'm not supposed to be doing any work and I'm waiting on stuff so... I have an extra one of these right here. This is a Parrot Mambo Fly. Um, it is a little drone. It is tiny. It is fantastic for just messing around with some kind of um, like tricks and stuff because it can do flips and things like that. And it does all kinds of nifty things. So and let's see here. Okay, so here we go. So we are going to take a look at this here. I just need to put that down. Okay. So this is this, and I also have the uh, Patriot Parrot Fly Pad. This can be used with a smartphone, or it can be used with just the controller itself, and you don't need uh, the smart pad. The smart pad does give you like battery life and things like that, but our smartphone, yeah, it doesn't need it. We fly these uh, without. Um, we have another set of these. This is an extra set. I've actually had this set for a while, and I've wanted to do a video taking a look at it. So we're going to open them both up here and take a look at both of these units, and then we're going to take a look at the inside of them, hopefully. Depends on how easily they come apart, because I do not want to break them. Um, they might end up being gifts. So as you open it up, you have the instructions here. Uh, the quick start guide's all right. Um, it doesn't take much to get this going. It looks like you have a little clip in here. You have the lithium battery, and then you have the drone itself. This is the drone here. It's pretty cool. Um, I believe this actually clips on here and you can actually get a little gun attachment um, and different attachments that clip on this. We actually have ones that shoot little airsoft balls and we have ones that have little grabbers that um, are powered by here and then they and then they do different things and then the battery in the back and then you clip the battery in and this is how you would charge it. It has a sensor here so it knows how high it is off the ground. Um, I believe that is just a ultrasonic sensor, but it is a very minimalistic, simple, very easy to fly. There's no trimming needed. Um, it can do flips, rolls, all kinds of different things. It has auto takeoff and auto land. So it, it's, it's a fantastic little drone. They're not very expensive. Um, just itself to fly it with the smartphone. You can get these probably for 50 now. They were a little bit more when I got them. But with the fly pad, that I, I don't remember how much that is. It's a little bit more. I've actually got uh, the two that we fly were bundles that came with the attachments that came with the fly pads and things like that. But this is an extra set that I have. So um, we first learned about these at the Orlando Science Center. Um, we go to the Science Center and they had a little drone flying course in there. So we, we took it and then we were like, yeah, we want a set of these drones. So um, it's got a uh, coding ability on it. So if you take a look here, it says smartphone control, flight stabilization, aerial snapshot, um, 360 acrobatics, and learn to code. So I'm not sure what the aerial snapshot is. It does have a camera at the very bottom of it so um, we've never used them on the smartphone to be honest with you so we have to try that out and see what that is as you can see here's a simple control it's got a takeoff button and then it's got its different different flight modes and you can take the camera shot and things like that so this is the says powerful autopilot stable flight and easy to pilot flips free fall takeoff um, initiative control with free flight mini pad app so um, you also have an app called 
S-W-I-F-T-Y-N-K-E-R and Swift Playgrounds. Um, and then you can get accessories, you can get the fly pad, you can get the cannon, the grabber, and uh, collect and drop. And then you can also get the first person view camera. We do not have the first person view camera. Cannot, um, cannot find one of those in a price that is reasonable. So, and then it has um, Bluetooth low energy compatible devices, um, LinkedIn with 180 millimeters by 40 millimeters, uh, weighs 63 grams, and it has a flight time of nine minutes without bumpers or accessories. So not a lot of flight time. Um, we have six batteries, so we fly two of them, and we just pop the batteries in and out. These units suck a lot of current. They get very hot. So after you fly it and it starts to go dead on the battery, the underside of this will be very hot. The top side will be very hot. Um, you need to let it cool down before you put a cool battery in it. So that is a um, little tip for you there. Hey, Jonathan, how's it going? So that is, you know, this little guy. Um, if you do not have an external charger, you just take the battery and you plug it in like so and you take your USB lead I will plug it into this hub that I have sitting right here and I will plug it into the computer it'll probably try to connect it so from what I understand is you can use an app to code it to f do in a flight pattern so yeah so okay so yeah so you can you can adjust if you look over here um let me just put this on um the monitor two here if you look here this is when i connected it it opened it up and it has um where you can get the photos off of it um it's got media here where your folk possibly and then i'm not sure what academy is but it has files on it, so it's got internal storage. Not 100% sure on this part. Haven't done much of the coding, but we're going to start getting into it. The weather's getting cooler here in Florida, so we're going to uh, get further into that. So let's take a look at the fly pad here. And we'll take a look at that. So let me see here. These are um, nifty little drones. Um, we've had them for about a year, and we normally only fly them in the fall and winter time um, because of the heat factor here in Florida. So, um, yeah. So here is the controller. Uh, it was very dusty in there. So it's got uh, an R1 button, R2, L1. L2, it's got your pairing button, and then um, this is rechargeable. It's got your takeoff button, 1, 2, B, and A, and then it's got your stick control. So um, you do a lot with this. Uh, I believe your triggers operate your, your attachments, and A and B are flips. I really don't remember. It's been a little bit since I have messed with this, and then it comes with... An attachment that clips on here. Uh, if I remember how to do this here, yeah, it clips on here like that, and then it screws in like that, and then you can, you know, clip your phone in there, and then you can use your phone to monitor your flight data. Like I said, I've never, I've never actually used the phones for these. We just fly them with the controllers because it's fun like that. And then it's got a charger for the, it's got a charger for the controller. So, same mini USB, micro USB. I'm sorry, yeah, micro USB to charge the uh, controller. So, we're gonna power off this controller. And I will go ahead and we'll put some charge in the controller. Nah, we're not going to charge the controller. Alright, all right, so that is, that is that part of the unit. So, 
So that is this controller. It's it's got some heft to it. It's 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 a it's a hefty controller. Let's see if it says on here how much the controller weighs. Um, six hour battery life. It weighs uh, 295 grams or 10.40 ounces with the smartphone holder. So you can also fly fly these type of drones with it. So um, yeah, it's pretty cool. High precision controller. Uh, 60 meters or 196 feet um, connects directly to your mi mine mini drone. So yeah, it, it, these are cool. I mean, we have a set of these, and you know, we have extra blades, extra bumpers, all the all the parts that go along with it. But let, let, let's take a look at what this consists of and see what we have here. And you know, I'm kind of curious to see if one of these bad boys gets wrecked or crashed. What would it entail to uh, fix one? So, let's get this battery out of here. So, we got the battery out. So, we have the motors here. Uh, I don't know how they come off. Okay, so they are pretty good on there. Now I know these bumpers come off because you can get more flight time without the bumpers on there. So we'll go ahead and take these bumpers off here. So I hope this NRS, you guys, there's only three people in chat. I say hi to everybody who's not, or three people in the stream. I say hi to everybody that's. I'm not in chat, so um, I hope this enters you. I, I am on vacation, supposedly. I'm not even supposed to be doing this. I'm supposed to be resting and relaxing, but I tell you, it, it was getting to me after day one. So um, now it's super compact, pretty cool. Um, you can build little obstacle courses to fly these through. So uh, it appears to have little torque screws I can't see what those screws look like I'm gonna go ahead and bring the scope in and hook that up so I can see what these screws are I didn't plan on needing the scope but you know it happens um, should I put the scope on the camera There it is. Okay, so let's take a look at the screw in here. Okay, so yeah, that appears to be a torque screw. What about the ones on the bottom? Same screw. Yep, same size screw. It's a torque screw. So we'll get my iFixit kit over here. And oh, that's a small boy. So. I'm going to try this one here. And that's it. That is a that is a Torx T3. So we are going to go ahead and shut that off. Put that back on here. Okay, so we got a Torx T3. So I'm just going to um Let's we take the top off first. Top off's not gonna show us much. Uh, let's just take the top off first. So, teeny tiny screws. I'm gonna put these three top screws in 25. Slot 25 on my mat. I should stop and make labels for each individual screw, but we just want to see what's inside this. I don't know how long this stream is going to last for. I was playing a video game with my son most of the morning, and I just wanted to get something out, and I really didn't have a lot of content because I'm waiting on stuff to show up. 
from overseas. And if it doesn't come in uh, today, I probably won't get it until next week because of the holidays that we have here in America. So, okay, so that, that just comes right off, a little face shield. So that's easily replaceable. And that just comes off, and that's super thin. Kind of broke that. So that reveals we got some LEDs in there. So it doesn't really reveal much. No more screws. I see here. Uh, let's see if I can light turn this on and see. If, you can see right in there is. I'm assuming that is the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth antenna that connects it to either the phone or the tablet. I just noticed that. I didn't notice that earlier. So, how they're routing the wires. Okay, here we go. Here's how they're routing the wires. So I see the wires for the motor, very thin. They go in here like so, and route down to all four. So this is very symmetrical, very balanced. It's a very interesting um, unit. So I gotta focus. Okay. So, so we're gonna take this part some more. Are these screws the same? These screws appear to be non-magnetic, which is a little bit irritating. Discourage you from taking them apart. just okay here we go come on now screw okay well we'll deal with that um, is that one piece? I want to take out these two here first. So far it all seems to be the same screw. Yep, they're all the same screw so far. So that's good. I think this will reveal another piece that will come off the front. Now that one was stuck to the screwdriver, so I don't know about that. So, okay, so that relieves that, and you can see we have a set of wire that is soldered on that go to the top plate that power it. As you can see in there, it goes up there, it looks like four wires, it does have four pads, so. I can almost see the board. Um, I wonder if that is going to be. Yep, that looks like it's screwed in from the bottom. This is going to be very interesting. I don't know how far we're going to get into this, but. Or if it's even going to fly when we're done. But like I said, this is, this is a parts drone. Um, and if you've never flown drones before with children, having parts drones is good. I mean, these aren't terribly expensive, but the parts are. So, you know, you replace a couple parts and you could have just bought a whole new drone. So, wow, that is a circuit board, wow. Oh, wow, this is going to be cool. I did not expect this kind of circuitry. Well, I did expect, you know, a sophisticated flight control system because of all the stuff it can do on its own. But this board is packed. Let's see if I can raise this scope up here. Let me just raise my scope up and let's get a look at this here. Okay, so... This is the board here. 
this is what we have for the board so starting over here at the USB port look at this this is there's the power button let me see if I can get in here and point to some stuff so power button this appears to be the connections for the two motors um, so or one set there one set there one set there one set there um, not quite sure what this is going to be um, not quite sure what that's going to be yet so it appears that the board is loose so and we got so, looks like we got one two three four boost converters one for each one for each motor so they want running one central power supply that provides 3.2 volts and then they're boosting it individually per per motor that's what it appears Let's see if we can take a look at what this chip is so that is a Tron Tech okay that's an ESP controller 66 8F that is super hard to see guys I'm sorry yeah but that is a uh, there you go oh no is it yeah ESP 668F so I'm assuming that is going to be the microcontroller what is this is this a BGA power management chip I don't know this FA07 A03 R0204. Oh no, that's for the camera. That's the camera connector. Oh, phew. I was like, is that a BGA chip? Because I don't see any on here yet. And then we have a T24 AB77 or 7TT. And then we have a lot of diodes. And this diode looks bad. It's just flux. Probably clean all that flux off and save a gram. So then we have a lot of capacitors. Okay, so the processor must be on the other side of this board. Is all I can think of because I don't see it on the top side. Unless that ES... No, I don't know. Let's find out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my iFixit kit here. And I'm going to pop um, these connectors off here. So I'll get these two. I'm going to pop these uh, motor connectors off and see what we have here. If we can get this board out. Wow, these are in there. That one. Now I have to be careful getting this board out because it is still connected to the top board through There we go. Okay, there we go. Now we got a processor. So this is just a protective sheet. Oh, the Wi-Fi antenna was what was... Um, yeah, I forgot to unhook that. So let's get this power board out of here. I'm still in shot, guys. Still the same screw. Oh, 
Okay, so... Oh, it appears we've lost a viewer. I don't know, I figured people would enjoy to see a drone, the inside of a drone. Especially one that's this technically advanced, this thing is insane. I've flown drones before and they were always a pain in the butt with the trimming and, you know, you had to set it and stuff like that. So this is just a, uh, just a power brick system here. Um, it's just a breakout board. But let's take a look at this controller here. Um, yep, it's an arm controller. Okay, that makes sense. So, um, in event sense, yeah, this is this is pretty. This is pretty insane for a board this small. I don't see any BGA chips other than that ARM chip. Is that ARM a BGA? It appears to be. It appears to be underfilled too. Yeah, that definitely appears to have some kind of underfill around it. Um, so I'm not sure. I, I would assume that it's a BGA chip. So, uh, crystal, what kind of crystal do we have there? 12 megahertz crystal. Then we have some kind of control chip here. That's an MPU. Okay. That must be, you know, I bet you this is the part that you can code and it programs and this is the chip that programs it um, after you code a program into it. So we have a another chip here, a 6L04STE, um, the battery connector. Over here we have what do we have here? This is let's go this way with it. This is a SMSC US two four two two one. So I don't know what that chip does either. So yeah, that core is underfilled, probably in case it crashes or whatnot. So, yeah, that's the inside of this drone. Uh, I'm assuming that this is the brains of the, not the brains, but the, the uh, gyro sensors and all that. I'm assuming that this box right here is contains the gyro sensors and all that telemetry data and things like that. So it's quite interesting. Is that? Oh no, that's the same crystal. I look. No, it's not. That is a different crystal. So there's a 2400 crystal. And I wonder if that's for this ESP chip. It appears to be so. It appears to be the clock signal for that. So, how many controllers do we have on this thing working together? And there's another crystal oscillator right here that is 26. It could be 26 megahertz. That is going directly under the board or into the board that could definitely be going to the arm chip um, and the other clock signal could be could be anything it could be going to this MC MPU here um, it could be really anything so yeah this is interesting this is a very interesting board here 
So let's see if we can get it back together here. So I need this protective sheet. And up first, I gotta put this in like so. So we're gonna put this back together. And we're gonna take a look at the controller, hopefully. Now, this was a brand new drone. There was nothing to fix on. Hey, Mike, how's it going? Uh, we're just taking apart this little drone that I had an extra one of. So I figured I'd do a teardown of it. It's never been opened, and I just opened it. And I um, was very surprised how much sophistication in one of these little things. So it's crazy. Um, this little drone, for the price of it and what it can do, a great buy especially for Christmas like if you have a kid you know 11 12 you know that is semi responsible you know one of these drones is a great gift you get the remote control they have a smartphone they can use their smartphone to fly it it's very easy to fly uh, my son's 13 now and um, he's been flying it for about a year I can't remember if we got these last year from the Science Center recommendation or the year before that I don't know I don't remember I don't think it was last year I think it might have been the year before that I don't know time just time escapes me okay so let's put our protective sheet back in here for our battery and processor Let's get these power wires out of here. Okay, oh, gotta get that one out. And then I need to actually get this. antenna we're not going to damage that in any way so now I will clip these batteries back on so we'll go there I will tell you if you get a couple of these um, it's nice because we, we, we have two sets that we fly together and the uh, the controllers, once you sync them to the drone, they're stuck with that drone, and it is very hard to unsync them. So if you have two and you sync a controller to each drone, um, it'll stay synced for a uh, good period of time. So, like it, when you turn it back on, if you turn both drones on, it'll know which controller goes with what drone. So that's 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 a plus on this. So and there and you really don't get any kind of interference between the controllers. So you can you can fly them both at the same time. So I'm assuming you could fly as many as you needed to. But you know. Depending on the weather, I may do a racing circuit outside and make a little video on it because we have all kinds of drone racing equipment like loops and flags and um, stuff hanging everywhere and you can fly your drone through it do tricks through it things like that and now that the fall weather is coming in and it's not so hot that's stuff that we like to do so I might set up the camera on the tripod this camera of course it shuts off I might set this camera in the corner up on the tripod and um, 
just film us running through a course or setting up a course or, you know, I don't know. I don't know if any of you would be interested in that. So, so we still have our peeps in here. Or, okay, go that way. Oh, that definitely goes this way. Okay, so it does come apart easily. Um, you know, uh, if you came from the Coders channel, Phil, he uh, he wants to do a challenge where we fix random stuff on the internet, and it's going to be a challenge because we've all been getting some bad stuff off eBay. So. But one of my ideas was getting a crashed drone and attempting to fix that. Not this specific drone, but, you know, I think fixing a crashed drone would be pretty cool. And, you know, I'm not real good with remote control technology, but, you know, I can fix it with electronics and trace out the circuits and all that stuff. So I don't I don't have an issue with that part of it. I just um, yeah you know, I just think it'd be fun to try to fix a drone. If you don't fix it, you don't fix it. If you do fix it, you know that's good. But then the sad part is if you fix it, you got to sell it. So you know so that's that. So but I I don't know I got. That's what I I don't I think that would make a good challenge. So if it doesn't if we can't do that part of the challenge, I may I may do that on my own after the actual challenge is over because I really can only do one challenge at a time. I am on a fixed retirement income, so Alright, so Alright Nope. There we go. There we go, little face shield going on there. So I take these screws are magnetic, just not very powerful magnetic. I thought they weren't. And you have to be very careful putting these in. If you go any bit too tight, you're gonna strip it real bad. So, all right. Okay, so that's back together. Just had to get some water, or tea. It's my iced tea. All right, so let's make sure it still charges. Well, we'll just put the battery in there and see what happens. If we turn it on. Lights come on. Yep, see the lights are flashing. So it, it's on now. We can turn it off. Now it wants to pair. See if it'll pair with this. Oh, so it did pair. So let's just take this for example. If I hold this and I press take off it basically took off but I'm holding it so it felt resistance so it did not take off so it won't there is a mode to make it launch from your hand yeah I don't remember the mode to make it launch from your hand but there is a way to where you can launch it from your hand, but um, if you hear this, it is insanely powerful. It's, it, is a, it is a beast of a drone. It is fun. It goes very, very fast. We keep the speed down to a minimum because they will cruise. So especially if you turn them sideways, this thing will skate through the air. And it'll go out of range, go into a tree very, very quickly. So that's something to keep in mind. 
But like I said, they're they're fun. These are little fun little things. So if you like that, if you like drones, I mean these things are cheap. Um, especially to get kids into drones, like the you know they're not expensive, and there's no you know other than fixing things that could have possibly broke on it. There's no maintenance on it. You just you know I'm gonna take this battery out before it turns on. While I'm, um, while I'm taking, putting these guards back on, because I've been hit with it. It hurts. I'm not going to lie. It's not a, it's definitely not a tickle to be smacked with this drone. So, that was with the bumpers. I wouldn't want to be smacked with it with the blades, because those blades spin fast. So... So I haven't, um, we haven't flown them since it was cool out earlier in the year. Um, definitely not since the pandemic, which probably would have been a good time to fly them. But, you know, we've been doing inside stuff, so, because it is hot here. I take some medication that tends to make me sensitive to the heat. So... So, but, you know, that's just the way it is. So, just have to deal with it. So, there we go. So, that is the, uh, the Parrot, uh, Mamba Fly. Mambo Fly. So, I'm going to put that back in there. I'm going to put this back in here. Now. Now. Everybody, you know, if you are in the chat, that's great. If you are watching this um, after this is over, if you're watching this, I am debating on whether or not to give this away at a thousand subscribers. So, not the not the controller, just just the the just just the drone it works with the smartphone you don't need the controller um, if I if I get to them quickly enough and it racks up fast enough I may add the controller to it but uh, yeah so I I think that's what I plan on doing I will announce it in, in an official video um, and try to get some promotion on it, but I think that's what I am going to plan on doing. Wow, this controller is so heavy. I wonder. I wonder what screw it is. Definitely not this screw. Our driver. I'm sorry. I said that wrong. Let's try this one. All right. Yep, this is it. What is this? This is a T5. Okay, so yeah, I, I want to. I wonder if this is all battery or or what is. Okay, hold on a minute. Let me see here. Is this a different? Does this need to be a bigger size? Yep, it's a T6. Okay, that was my bad on that. Alright. I was going to say, because that, that was kind of weird. Alright, so let's get these four screws out here. So yeah, that's a T6 on... Um, I think that's a T6. What is that? Yeah, T6. So it's a T6. Just got one from my grandpa. Yeah, they're they're, they're pretty cool. Um, yeah, if if you have a cell phone, um, 
they're they're even cooler but like we, we don't like to do a lot of stuff with phones so just the remote control um, the fact that you can fly it with just a remote control and the fact that you can get a little gun like a little uh, airsoft gun for the top of it or a little grabber and grab things it's it, it's pretty cool you can do some pretty neat stuff um, with it um, set up a little course and all that good stuff so but I want to see what's in this controller that makes it so heavy it looks like a different screw I just want to see what's inside here to make this controller so heavy. Unless they use nickel nickel batteries, I don't know. Let's see here. Oh, I've never taken a controller apart that's not a Joy-Con. So I don't know what this is going to be like. Oh, it's got a rumble motor in it. That's weird. Oh, I wonder if it has feedback. And it's got what appear to be lead weights. It's got lead weights in it. And the world's smallest battery. Um, I don't know if you can see that in there, but that's the battery inside this controller. So that's that's strange. So yeah, that's weird. So I'm gonna try to tuck this back in there. So I'm not gonna get into all the nitty gritties of this controller like I did the drone. I don't think you're gonna have any kind of issues with the controller. So I just wanted to see what made it so heavy. I guess that's to give it feel, just throw some lead weights in there. I don't know, that's weird. I would never saw that in a controller. Even <laughs> if you bought the new PlayStation 5 controller and you opened it up and there was lead weights on there to bring it to weigh it down, and you're like, what? Why would there be lead weights in there? That's just weird. So, I don't know. That's strange. So, that is a strange one. Let me sure this turns on. Yeah, it does. Alright. So, so I am going to talk to Phil, and come up with an idea of a goal. So, like with Phil's channel, he wanted to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So I want to, I know it's too late. I don't think I can get to a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. I don't think that that's possible because I'm at uh, 575 or 574 or 571, something like that. So I think it's, uh, my channel grows too slow to get to a thousand by the end of the year. But um, I say if I get to a thousand by the end of the year, I will give away the 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 fly pad and the drone. So that that's probably what I'm going to do. It's not 100% set in stone, but um, that's what yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. So I have to talk to my wife, so she should agree with it, and I want to get Phil's input on it see if he thinks that's a good idea and a good goal and if it is I will make the announcement video uh, when I make a decision but you know I'm just spitballing ideas in this stream now so um, so I have an extra one of these like I said and you know I, I, you know, I really want that community tab, like, is I like to post polls and, and give feedback. I'm not a huge fan of Facebook and things like that, so, you know, I would like to be able to have a place to post, post things that, uh, 
I can see with the channel, give them updates of what's coming up and things like that. I mean, that's what's what I'm, I mean, you know, if, I, if, if they pay me 20 cents, that doesn't matter. I mean, paying me money is not a major issue of of the getting to a thousand. I mainly want the community page and to uh, share more of my projects because I'm looking to start a website in March and expanding my repairs, the repairs that I do. So um, I plan on um, in March having a website where I'll be selling some stuff and uh, different things like that. Um, I have a lot planned. Um, it takes me a while to get things done, to get things planned, and to get all the get all the the stuff set because I am all in that fixed income. So. I only can get a little bit of stuff at a time. So I'm getting there slowly. Next thing I'm going to get is a four input capture card for uh, my computer and hopefully install that without breaking said computer. So that is my next option. Well, that is the end of this. I tore apart that drone. Um, I'm possibly thinking about it as a giveaway. Um, if I get to a thousand subscribers, um, so that's going to do it for this video guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Mike. Thank you, Jonathan in the chat. And those of you who are not in the chat, thank you so much because your views count. I hope everyone has a fantastic day.